Yo, shout out baby, it's your boy Nindo XL, back from the Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And if you've been watching this video, I hope you guys are having a beautiful anniversary and a beautiful day as well. So, part 2 has been leaked, we have the translations from Gorash, etc, etc, for the new Goku and Vegeta. Made a video on this guy, um, well these guys, I'm sorry. But check my most recent video, I dropped all my details and thoughts about them. Now, in that video, I was pretty harsh, I dogged them pretty harsh, I will not lie to you. However, one of the main reasons I did that is because they're categories. In terms of looking at both of them, I wish I did have better linking partners in a category, hence why I'm doing this video, hoping they do some easy A's so they can have better linking partners. So when I look at Final Jump Card, right, um, first thing I think of is fusions. I think that's the first thing anybody thinks of. Now, of course, we have Kyle King Goku's down here, but most of them either have an easy A ready or are just missing that particular one that can still get one. And all out struggle, pretty much same thing, but without the fusions, there's a lot of units in here who are probably gonna link with him, but there's Kyle King Goku's in there who I'm looking at the most. So starting off here, I want to go with this guy. Now this guy isn't Kaioken, so I want to start with him first, get him out the way. But he's still going to share some link skills with him for sure. Leader skill, not sure what they'll possibly do with that, honestly. I'd say the most they'll bring that to is like a 45%, because they make it 50%. That's basically like 100% damage reduction. I don't think we'll get to a point in Dokkan where they do that. However, he needs a massive buff and a super attack for sure. The attack plus 10 and death defense per key spear obtained is pretty cool. And honestly, they do upgrade that passive a little bit. What I can see happening is that maybe he'll change key spears. Only issue is that Goku is STR. So if he does um, switch those STR key spears, it's going to be a problem for the LR Goku. However, if he doesn't, he just changes like, you know, maybe rainbow key spears of physical or something like that. Maybe it can still work out and be like a really decent linking partner for him. So now moving on, I have this guy. And this guy I'm more like excited about, especially in terms of link skills and stuff like that I mentioned. However, he's also physical, which is a problem, and he does change SCR to Rainbow Key Spears, which is a problem as well. However, they can still do something with him. Right now, he's a World Tournament unit, um, you know, 2017, pretty freaking old. It causes Supreme Damage to greatly raise the attack. So, yeah, he already has a greatly raised attack going for him. Could probably get some defense in there as well. Um, link skills are not the best. You know, he's an old unit, so he's not going to have many link skills, but he's still going to link pretty good with the SCR Goku, and I'd like to see easy guy for this guy for sure. Now, leader skill, um, <clears throat> whenever I see leader skills like that, I don't really think about it too much. But, you know, he could be a solid linking partner, so that's what that really matters to me. Now, going into Vegeta here, um, a lot of Vegeta slander going on, and I understand it, like, I understand it. But, if I open my mind a little bit, he does have that guard active, and he's probably going to have, like, better linking partners in terms of easy A potential units. Because the first one that comes to my mind, honestly, in terms of units that can easy A for him, is... <sighs> nope, that's the second one. Hold on on that one. This guy. All right, now, I know you're going to say, I know it's too early for these guys to get an easy A, or maybe you're not going to say that whatsoever. However, um, thing is... If they were able to easily the likes of Goku and Frieza when they were still not meta necessarily but usable, these guys who are completely like unused as far as I'm aware, unless it's like a world tournament, they could definitely do something for it without a doubt in my mind. Now, right now they're raising attack and defense in one turn and causing colossal damage to all enemies. That's good. Greatly raise attack and defense in one turn and causing colossal damage to enemy. Greatly lowers defense. That's good. And then passive skill attack and defense 78%, keep plus 5 when HP is 78% or more. Plus an additional attack 70% within the same turn after evading uh, attack, including the super attack. Plus an additional attack and defense. Ooh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I, I don't like flat boost. 7,800 7, to start a perk. Sorry, oh, that's bad. 7,800 to start the turn per existing enemy. Exchanges with Vegeta when conditions are met. So now after we can exchange with Vegeta, um, let's see what happens here. So exchange with Vegeta when HP is 50% or less, starting from the fourth turn from the start of the battle. Active skill, attack minus 50% and evades enemies attack, including super attack for one turn. Alright, so now looking at Vegeta here, when he transforms, honestly I won't dog on this guy too much, because raise attack damage for one turn, cause colossal damage to the enemy and lowers attack. Greatly raise attack for one turn, cause amount colossal damage to the enemy massively lowers defense. And then passive skill, recovers HP 50%. Key plus 3 and attack and defense 100%, plus an additional key plus 3 and attack and defense 18% when facing only one enemy. Plus an additional key plus 3 and attack and defense 18% when attacking super class enemies. Attack effectiveness to all types when his key is 24. Now the Vegeta himself is pretty good, and back then I was kind of, you know, thrown off on why he started with Nappa when Vegeta was like the main unit. But now that he starts with Nappa, that allows him to actually link with this new Vegeta coming out. And if he does get it easy and get a little buff there, then maybe it won't be as, you know, it won't be as forceful to pick them together and use them. Because right now, in terms of these LRs, like I said um, in my other video as well, 
only issue is that I don't suit too many places where you're going to use them. Maybe you could bring Vegeta to Super Battle Road, etc., etc. But like these new um, Red Zone events, I I don't I don't see it, and I don't know honestly. I just don't see it. But anyway, moving on. You guys saw this guy already, Nappa. Now, um, he's already giving physical type key plus two, so that's already not a good start. But he also, he also gives a great chance of attack and defense plus thirty percent to all types in general. Um, so. Well, actually, it's just to himself. Ooh. That's <laughs> just to himself. Cause supreme damage to the enemy. Okay. So besides Link skills, right? This guy needs an entire glow up. I'm not going to lie. It'd be the first Baba Shop Easy A, but you know, there's a time and place for everything. And you know, they may just drop another side Nappa as it is, etc, etc. We don't really have that many good Nappas in the game, from honest with you, obviously. But you know, that would be good as well. So in terms of searching for Easy A's, it was quite difficult. These are the only four I can come up with for the most part. But... I really think the LR Vegeta would really be extremely good and bring the best out of the new Vegeta we have right now and make those partners really shine together. So outside of that, that's my video, pretty short. Let me know what you guys think about potential Easy A's, um, what you think about the celebration, if you're summoning, all that. Give me all that information in the comments. I would love to know. Besides that, this is your boy Nintendo Soul signing off. Much love. Have a beautiful day, guys. Adios.